All right, guys. So, you know, final expense, final expense. Uh, these are some questions that you guys can ask your clients. And what I would do as you're watching this video is write down these questions, shoot, bring them in and ask the client these questions. Okay. These are going to help you find the need and build value. Okay. So first question is, Hey, why'd you fill out this form? Right. Why are you looking into this? Okay. Who would have to pay for the, the funeral costs? You know, if you were to pass away, do you think it, do you think they should pay for it? Or do you think you should take responsibility for that and leave them, you know, the last I love you go, Hey, I took care of this. You think it's your responsibility? You think it's theirs? Um, who would come to the funeral? Are you going to be buried or are you going to be cremated? Okay. Who's coming to the funeral? Where do they live at? Uh, what if they had to, you know, fly out here in a week notice? Are tickets more expensive when you have to buy them a week out? Or are they better to buy two months out? Right? How are they going to cover that cost? Do you want to leave them a gift to cover that cost? Do you want to have a celebration of life because you're being cremated? Maybe pay for a party for them to get together, remember you? Remember, this isn't for you. This is for them. How many grandkids do you have? Did you want to leave them a gift? Why not? Do you want to leave them $1,000, 2000 3000 5000 um, What are you going to do after you die? What, what, how would the plans change? Where would your wife go? Would she stay? How would her income adjust? How much would she be losing? Do you want to cover the bills, electricity, um, rent? Let's add it all up. Maybe we cover a policy that gives her six months to in, for that income adjustment because that's going to be rough on her. Have you ever lost anybody? How'd that make you feel? What were some of the expenses involved? What if you died in a hospital and had to be transported? You know, the body had to be transported to the morgue and that cost $2,000. You're 60 now. Do you plan to live for 20 years? Okay, do you know that the coverage is going to be worth half at that time? Okay, do you want to plan for that? If you live to 80, do you want to give your, your family half of what you want to give them, or do you want to prepare for that? Do you realize that it's on sale right now? How much can you afford? Because right now, it's the cheapest it will ever be. Um, what's some other good ones? Um, what if your wife died? What would you do next? Okay, you'd buy a boat. How are you going to pay for that boat? Um. What if you need in-home nursing care and your insurance doesn't cover it? My stepdad passed away. It was an extra eight grand. Do you want to cover that just in case? Do you think you should put that financial pressure on other people or do you want to leave a last I love you to the people you care about? 15,000 today would cover it at your age of 60, but we need 30,000 if you're planning to live to 80. Write these things down about the policy. It lasts forever. It's a guaranteed payout. The premium is locked in. The coverage is locked in. It builds cash value. It pays out tax-free. It avoids probate. These are amazing policies. What's the chance of you dying in your whole life? 100%. What's the chance of the money you put into it going to your family? 100%. So engage with lots of questions to build up the value. Some extras, right? Uh, what's your plan right now, right? Do you want your family to do car washes? Or do you want to cover the cost? Do you want them to do GoFundMes? How would that make you feel if your father made you do a GoFundMe? Do you think it would make you feel better if he took care of those costs? Who have you had to pay for in funeral costs? How many funerals have you been to? Was it nice to have a celebration of life with them? Do you want to provide that? Do you think it'd be cool for them to maybe go on a cruise together and, and have some family time? Do you want to pay for that? Do you want to pay for a different vacation? Where would you move to if your wife died? How are you going to afford that move? Maybe we should pay for a moving truck, maybe a flights. Maybe you're going to get a tent in Hawaii on the beach and sell your possessions. You know, maybe we get a little hut. How much is that going to cost? Right. So these are all curious questions about what's going to happen next. And I think the really good ones too is, you know, bringing up the past. You know, who do they know who's past? Right. Get emotional with it and be curious and try to. Under, make them understand that when they die, what plan do you want to have in place, right? What do you want the plan to be, right? That's the thing that we're selling, right? The last I love you 
that you leave for people you care about? Do you want the last memory of yourself to be that your family's stressing out and trying to raise money? Or do you want the last memory of yourself to be, hey, I took care of all this stuff for you? Which one do you want? These are all great questions. We're not approaching it as someone that's trying to sell it. We're approaching it with curiosity and trying to put them in a better spot. It comes from a place of love, not from a place of selfishness and commission. This is how final expense works. It's not just a, it's not just a cremation. It's not just a burial. It's covering all additional things by engaging and asking good questions.